Whoa, individuals, it's been a journey. Let's see, let's take it back to uh, November of 2019. As most of you know, I decided to buzz my head completely. It was the first time I had ever done that. And uh, it was one of my favorite cuts, to be honest with you. Um, and let's see, uh, soon after that, I decided to grow it all out, as you guys have, you know, can see that what I've done here. And um, this is, again, something I'd, I've never tried before. Along the way, I think I've only cut my hair um, once on the top, just to kind of get rid of those dead ends. And as far as the sides and back, I believe, um, I didn't start growing out the sides and back till August of 2020. So really, uh, it's only been about nine months for the sides and back and 16 months of growth for the top. But with that said, um, I, feel, uh, I feel pretty accomplished. Uh, I've come a long way. I'm pretty happy with the turnout. However, I'm just, uh, I'm dying to have a new cut. Nothing too drastic. Uh, I really like my lengths that I had about five months ago. I thought, uh, that looked pretty cool and I want to do something similar to that and also just kind of feel safe uh, uh, meaning hey if I regret cutting my hair then uh, I'll be able to just grow back out to around this same length probably around fall at the end of this year opposed to growing it out from the freaking uh, uh, buzz cut which is what I did and um, which was just it's been a strenuous journey so hey I feel pretty exhausted at this point I, I really want something new, something fresh. You guys know me, you guys know I love kind of switching things up and trying new hairstyles. So what I'm gonna do right now is meet up with my barber, Jeff. It's been, uh, I haven't seen him since summer of last year. So it's definitely been a minute. I got a kind of cool hairstyle that I want him to try on me. So I'm pretty excited. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready and I'll see you guys there. To kick off the cut, Jeff first washed out any product that was currently in my hair using the black clay showering kit by Shabu, and then we just got to chopping. Jeff right away started taking major inches off the top as well as the back and sides, as you'll see, and uh, all while just ensuring that everything is blending in perfectly. All in all, it was a pretty simple cut. We basically took off about three inches on top and about two inches everywhere else, which subsequently reduced a lot of weight and made my hair lighter and way more textured. And just FYI, as you can see, nothing was tapered, nothing was, um, you know, I didn't do any kind of skin fading. Not that that wouldn't have looked good. Um, however, I've just, I've, I mean, you guys know I've spent years and years having these high skin fades and all these super clean cut, tricked out kind of looks, you know? Um, and that's just something I'm not really going for right now in this current moment. Um, I'm really digging the more messier, kind of grown out natural looks as it's just kind of a little bit more low key and uh, definitely more trendier here in 2021. Uh, but anyways, after I uh, got my hair cut, I came straight home, took a shower, decided to restyle my hair. And as you can see a little bit ago, even without any product in it at all, my hair is just so much more layered and texturized. And as far as dimensions go, the top we cut around five inches and the sides and back start from about three, three and a half inches, then get longer as it blends into the top. And as far as styling goes, I use the Voluminous Sea Salt Spray by my brand Shavu. Now, not only will this provide just great body and volume, but it also works great as a heat protectant. So, uh, I then decided to blow dry my hair using the heat setting. I started from the back where it's usually most wet, and then after that, I then blow dried my hair all upside down. Usually, as most of you know, I always recommend blow drying your hair in the direction you want it to go in, but for this specific style, I wanted to keep things pretty messy. Uh, I don't really want any specific direction. That's why I've been just blow drying my hair upside down and just letting it kind of go in whatever direction it wants to kind of go in. However, as far as the sides, that is one thing I tend to always blow dry back just to keep things a little nice and tight. I like having my hair messy, but I also like balance. And of course, you don't want things to get too messy, too out of control to where you look like a complete mess. As far as styling goes, I went with our pomade. Now, one thing I've 
realized um, with this pomade as I've continued to use it over um, you know, this year is it, it really works like an all-purpose pomade. Um, I mean, obviously you can use it for slick backs. Obviously you can use it for pompadours and those kind of old school classic looks. But I mean, hey, you can also get some really cool, messy texturized looks out of this sucker as well. And as I've said in previous videos, if you've got longer hair, kind of like mine, feel free to add in a little water to the pomade for a more smoother application. It doesn't really have any effect on the result. It just helps you get it through your hair easier when styling. But um, of course, if you have shorter hair, then you don't really gotta worry about this little hack. The product will go through your hair just fine. This is just for those of you who have longer hair when it's a little harder to get product through all that hair. Now at this point, I decided to create the most messiest off-centered part I could possibly create. I think that having a messy part really gives off some great style that'll you know, separate you from everyone else. And the great thing about this look is the messier the better. If hair strands fall out of place and maybe onto your forehead, I mean, dope, that's what gives a style. I would highly, highly suggest to you guys, don't be so married to the idea that your hair has to be always just perfectly into place, standing straight up and into this perfect, holy position. Hey, like they always say, you know, messy is sexy. Don't be so uptight with it. However, since the hold in this product is so high, I mean, yes, my hair is gonna be real messy, but hey, it'll still be manageable and controlled and just going exactly where I want it. But hey, as always, feel free to use whatever product you feel will give you similar results if you're looking to have a similar hairstyle. So let me know what you guys think of this specific cut and style. If you dig it, please be sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up or just drop a comment down below. And as always, I love chatting with you guys. Um, but hey, thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you all on the flip side. My name is Judge Exler. Peace always.